Good afternoon. This is the Dominion ImageCast image cast, uh, tabulator. Now this is the tabulator that is used uh, in Wayne County for uh, tabulating your uh, ballots when you come to vote. Now this tabulator is not used all across the state, but it's used in 63 of the 83 count counties. There are several other tabulators that are out there that are approved by the state. Now, the way this tabulator works is really simple, and it's like the other tabulators you've used in the past, and this has been in, in, uh, in use for a couple of years. And it's really very simple, but one of the things that you do when, when they are getting ready to operate the image cast uh, is, first of all, they make sure that the, that the portion of the tabulator that holds the ballot is, is operating properly. In the Dominion, um, tabulator, it has a, a section for holding the ballots, and there's really two compartments inside the, the uh, container. One is for holding the um, write-in ballots and the regular ballots. They have to be kept separate in order to have a, a, an actual counting for it, and it's just done by pulling a little lever down here inside. And this is where the Write-in ballots are held, and the regular ballots are, are held inside. Uh, you may see someone getting inside of these during the day of the election, um, especially in an election like November, where there's a lot of ballots going in, and they will come in and take it out. And it has to, you have to have uh, people of two different parties, like a Republican and a Democrat, to take, take those out. First, you put the security key on the tabulator. and up comes a portion uh, of the screen so that you can enter a security code. And the security code will depend on the election that you're doing. In this case, we've just made one up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, enter. Okay, it's verified now. And it's gonna take it a second just to boot up uh, so that it can run through its processes, so you can see it. Election is being uh, formatted right now, and so um, it, it, it operates uh, through the regular current. And if the if the uh, uh, power were to go out, this uh, this uh, uh, can work for six hours after uh, after losing power. So uh, it will. Uh, it will be working the whole time. Uh, there's no power out. Okay. So after you've got the security code in, it will come up and prompt you to say, is this the right date and this is the right time? And so you would push, yes, that it is the right date. And now it will, uh, it will verify and it's, it go through its process. Is the display okay? Is the scanner okay? Printer, security, is this the right election? and it goes through that process, and then when that's all done, you can say, I'm ready to open the poll. And so you push open the poll, and then what happens next is it asks for you to, uh, to, uh, to run a zero tape. And the zero tape is run so it can authenticate that there's no ballots that have been run through the machine yet, so you know that it's completely zeroed out. And so here you see it's going to print a zero code tape. Now this tape, uh, in Wayne County, they require that you have three of these. One, for, the, uh, one for, for us, one for Wayne County, and one for the Board of Canvassers. So the Wayne County clerk gets one, the local clerk gets one, and so do the Board of Canvassers. In this particular instance, we're only going to run one, so we're not going to run another zero tape, and so we'll push no. But otherwise, we would run three of them. And usually, this is programmed right into the, the election, and it will do it automatically. Now the system is ready, and it's ready to receive uh, ballots. And what we have here are some famous name ballots uh, that we will uh, be able to run through here. So the system is ready. Let's see if we can run a ballot through. And it takes it. You just have to put it in just a little way, and it will automatically take it. And this is interactive. Here it will tell you here that the ballot successfully cast, and now the system is ready to receive another ballot. 
Now, it usually takes about a, a, a few seconds for it to, to work because it's actually taking a picture of both sides of the ballot and is being recorded on, on the desk here. Right, now we're going to run another ballot through, and this one is a blank ballot. And now it says, it's querying me saying, you know, this is a, this is a blank ballot, you know, um, please uh, re get the ballot back and then mark it appropriately. So you would go, return my ballot, and it comes down, so the ballot was not cast. It detected that you didn't make any selections, and so you could go back to your booth and make the proper selections and, and run uh, that ballot through. The next ballot coming through is going to be one that is an undervote. An undervote is when you um, um, fail to, uh, to, to make a selection in a, uh, in a particular party or uh, office. Now in this case, it cast the ballot. So what it did was, okay, maybe you intentionally didn't want to vote for that person. So it, um, uh, it accepted the ones that you did, you did vote for, and the ones you didn't will not be counted. And here is just another good ballot, as you can see, we have marked, and these are famous names, uh, ballots that we use as, for practice. And you can see it takes it, a, takes it a few seconds to go through. Now this next ballot is an overvote ballot. This is where I've selected too many uh, uh, selections in a particular race. Now it's going to um, alert me what I've done wrong. It says, voting issue is found overvote. I can press this for more details and it will tell me just exactly what I, I did. I overvoted on that and I can push the return button. It will come back to me. And in this particular instance, what I would do is go get a new ballot because it will not count an overvote. Um, sometimes people will put uh, uh, marks on the ballot that are not in the, proper, in the proper place, and that's called an ambiguous mark. And so here's a ballot that has an ambiguous mark on it. And it has returned it. It didn't ask me any questions. It just recognized that something was wrong with this, with this ballot. And in that case, again, you could either maybe fix it by filling in the circle all the way, or you would have to get a new, you would have to get a new ballot. And here is one that is a write-in, where I've written in uh, Mickey Mouse and Don Duck, as a matter of fact, two of my favorite uh, office holders. Now, now that has fallen into this separate bin that I talked about. So at the end of the day, I will have to make sure that I remember that there are ballots in there. So you always check that, but you check that one last. And here's one that is unreadable. And it is returned. It, it couldn't tell whether or not that you voted for someone, which is different than uh, that you just didn't make any selections at all. That maybe didn't, you didn't darken this circle enough. And so now, now that you have finished voting for the day, you'll want to, um, um, to close down the equipment. Now the voting is over, and so what happens is we kind of reverse the process of closing the machine down. And so what we'll have to do is use our security key again, and we'll place it on the security tab. And it's going to ask me, do I want to close the poll? And so I put close the poll, and then I have to do the, the code again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, enter. Are you certain you want to close a poll? And yes, I do. I am certain I want to close the poll. The poll is being closed, and it takes it a second. And now it's printing a, a results tape. And this will, should accurately tell you uh, where the votes are at. And if you could come up a little bit closer, you can see here that there were a total of four votes cast. There were four good ballots cast. And here you can see the results uh, of the tape. We have four good ballots that came through, and it shows each one of the offices 
one for state senator, uh, one for board of education. If there were any proposals, you'd see all the votes on there. And again, we'd run three of them uh, for the different offices, one for the clerk, one for the county clerk, and one for the board of canvassers. And then it's asked me, do I want to run more tapes? In this instance, I'm not going to, but as I said before, you would, you would do that. And okay. then it asked me if I want to reopen the polls for some reason. No, I, uh, no, I don't. And so now I want to, to power down the, uh, the instrument. And at the end of the day, what we do in Wayne County is we then broadcast the, uh, uh, the results to Wayne County, uh, kind of through a Wi-Fi and, um, uh, and to the local clerk also. Okay, so at the end of the day, one of the last things you do is remove the ballots from the container. And again, we would have a Republican and a Democrat uh, here to, to uh, witness that. And you can look inside here, and you can see that we cast four ballots. Three of them were in the general bed. And so you always remove these first so you don't mix them up in the... Um, uh, in, so that you can count the absentee, the, I mean, count the uh, write-in ballots. And then down here, I will pull the lever, and then out will come the write-in ballot. This is the Canon high-speed tabulator. And this is what we use in the county board. This is what we use when we're counting all of the absentee ballots. Now, of course, there's a process of opening the ballots. You know that we can open them the day before now because of the new state law, but we can't take them out of the secrecy sleeve. So we open up the ballots, get them ready to be processed, and then once we are allowed to count them, which is at 7 o'clock on uh, election day, we put them into the high-speed tabulator, and you can see how fast they're tabulating, which is much faster than the regular uh, uh, tabulators you have at the polling places. Now, of course, we have a lot of them here because we're going through the accuracy test right now, but in real life, we only put 25 at a time, and that way we can keep count of the batches. So 25 is a batch, and then we have a, a, a separating a, a piece of paper to separate the batches so that we can retrieve any ballot that has a, has a problem. And of course, we have an adjudicator here that allows us to correct any issues uh, going on with the ballots.